So guys, uh, here we are. We're just at the edge of Hamilton. There's a lot of areas like this around Hamilton. Um, this is the Louth Caves, or Louth Cave. It's just a very small feature, but you can just see the rock, and uh, it's kind of a neat spot to visit. Uh, and I'm quite sure there's a lot more in this area. In fact, I happen to know there's a lot more in this area in terms of cave features. So this is the main, uh, it's a small stream. Obviously it starts hitting the, the various cracks and, you know, um, ends up getting into a much deeper, larger crack. So behind me you can see the, um, the rock itself, uh, a dollar stone. It's got lots of cavities like pockmarks in it. And um, you can just see the way it's worn. It's a mixture of scalloping from fast running water in this material. It's, you know, so homogenous. And also there's the, the deeper pox as a result of the particular layer. I suspect it's maybe Lockport again, and that's, of course, where we find the fluoride as well in this area, but you won't find any here. It's all been scoured all out quite, quite some time ago. So this must just fill up at certain times. If we'd been here yesterday during the rain, probably would have seen it all the way up to there. So the cave itself underneath there, it's just a short sort of uh, passage underneath the road. So here leads onwards here to quite a spacious open sort of area, but it's kind of wrecked by, you know, you've got old tires and stuff that have been washed down here. It kind of ruins the effect of this pristine location that it should be. I'm afraid I hurt my back this morning just at home, just working in my tool shed there, so I'm not really quite up to anything too serious in terms of looking around, but it looks almost like you could remove a lot of the rubble around here, and there's some potential for maybe small passages and so on. I can just see up behind me there. I mean, I'm just thinking, but you also got to be really careful because the rock, obviously, you don't want it coming down on top of you. So from deeper under here, where the cavern is, here's where the, the actual tunnel comes out. I kind of wish I'd filmed this while the water was really running That's strongly. Um, just a beautiful spot. There's no doubt about that. But lots of potential in the area. As I say, some of the, we, we know some pretty large cave kind of large that is for Ontario in this area. A very promising area still to be really fully explored for caves. So anywhere in this area where the water is flowing because of the type of rock we've got um, you have some good potential for cave formation. Um, it's unlikely it'll always be obvious but you just want to follow the, the signs, the features, dead end valleys, um, sinkholes, stuff like that, disappearing streams. That's really what's going to tip you off. It's always going to be buried beneath some rubble. Or the farmer may have filled it in maybe a hundred years ago because they didn't like the idea of caves. But this area is pretty cave rich and then we're talking about the plateau up above the Hamilton, Hamilton area. Okay. Thicker layer up top. That's likely to be our Lockport dollar stone where the caves will actually form. As you can see lower down it's too fractured. The water will follow every little crack and cranny. It will not be concentrated anywhere. So you pretty well know it's, it's a short area of rock in which your caves will form. So we're right in a primo grape growing area and it's pretty well, you can see the grapes down there, it's right on the edge of the escarpment and that also happens to be the area where the Lockport dollar stones coming out so if you're in the grape area you know it's a narrow band along the edge where you're also finding this really really good cave forming rock. Further back in that direction it starts going into corn. Here, prime example of a sinkhole. Oh look at this, duckweed. Oh, something jumped into it. Never even seen this one, quite the soil pipe. So it looks like there's an overland flow here from the other sinkhole and an actual spot where the water bubbles out from underground as well and I can see a crack going in that. Well, this is the resurgence of, I believe, I suspect the system that we call Wasteland Waterway. Can't be totally positive but it's a four foot deep crevice up which the water obviously boils when it's uh, raining. So 
there's a sink. There's a sink. There's the one there that is the final overflow point, and just inside the bush uh, is the final pool. So they're in a perfectly straight line. That's the nature of sinks. They follow a joint. And there's one over there. Just inside there as well, you can hear the water rushing some days when it's been raining.